Hello, everybody. This is Sensational Stacy Corrigan, the Rocket from Woonsocket, super proud badass broker and founder of Peace of Mind Property Management and Real Estate Inc. And I'm coming to you off camera today because I am having some crazy hair. <laughs> I am not appearing on camera because I'm being a little shy about how I look today, although you probably would all think I'm looking just fine. Anyhow, today's topic comes from, because of my girlfriend, Kat Sellis, she's in the San Francisco East Bay market and she is brilliant. So if you're thinking of buying or selling out in that area, definitely be sure to call Kat. Um, but she brought to my attention today, um, from Altos Research, is, which is also based in the San Fran area, uh, this topic of what the real estate market will look like in 2023. So we're coming to the end of 2022, and I'm sure it's on everybody's mind who's interested in real estate. And so what the consensus is right now is that we will have a mild recession in 23. And home prices will continue to come down. Um, they are coming down a little bit now. Uh, however, we are still on the high side of the roller coaster here. So we peaked in about May to July this past year. And even though prices have come down a little, um, we're going to see a little leveling off, maybe a little reduction and then a leveling off. And if you look at the Case Schiller Index, now I chose Boston area because that's where I am. But if you want to look at the entire, um, you know, all the metro areas, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but you can see that this is June, right to May to July. June was our peak. And then we're coming down just a little bit. All right. But those numbers aren't crazy numbers. So here's the Boston area. And so year to date, we're up almost 8%. And that's honestly the housing uh market's average return over time is 8%. So we're really uh, strong at that number. But because we had a three-year average of 11%, um, you can see that we're coming down just a tad. So the three-month average is down 3% in pricing, and the one-month average is down about 1.5% in pricing for the Boston area. All right. So uh, what we're expecting to see is the first half of 2023 going down a little bit, but then stabilizing and then maybe even picking up some steam in the second half of 2023. And what we have right now is two to three months supply of inventory. And so that is uh, still a strong seller's market. So what this means for buyers is you have an opportunity in the first half of 2023 to possibly, uh, negotiate some of your pricing down a little bit. Um, and for sellers, if you've been thinking about selling and want to take advantage of, uh, you know, a pretty stable pricing option, now would be the time. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily wait too long because you could have an opportunity with uh, buyers right here in uh, the first half of 2023. So uh, we still have really low inventory. So we do need sellers to list their homes. And because of that, just know that you won't be selling in a week or two weeks, but you will be uh, selling in two to three months based on our inventory levels for today. And we're not expecting that to change too much over the course of 2023. So even though a little bit of recession, we're not expecting it to be crazy cuckoo, uh, pretty stable, mostly in the second half of 23. So if you have any other questions or want specific market information for your area and your home, uh, check out our website at the link below.